Hey, Talo Falaba. This is Leotawa Dr. John Peterson with TE2 Edge Sports Cards. Hope everyone is doing well out there on this Wednesday. It's a little rainy here in the Twin Cities. Uh, just realized that I had a package and found it on the table. My wife had brought it in and uh, figured I'd open it up. A little mail here today. <clears throat> Picked up a couple cards over the weekend and so uh, we'll see. I'm not sure which, I don't even remember which one this is. So I guess we'll find out. Um, yeah, I've been doing well, did a video, I think yesterday, and, uh, have been putting cards on myslabs.com. Um, I've probably got about 20, 25 cards up there. So check out my slabs. Um, I don't really know how you can find specific, uh, hobbyists, collectors, investors, dealers on my slabs. I don't know what their search feature is like as it pertains to uh, finding individual businesses or people. Um, but you can easily find my cards on there because uh, there's a green background, a lime green background, which I've been using for all my listings on eBay, whether they be buy it nows, best offer or um, auctions. So if you see a green, lime green, light green background, uh, those, are, those are my cards. Um, and I'll continue to put stuff onto the uh, onto the myslabs.com landing page for uh, TE2 in the coming months. Uh, if you haven't had a chance, hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, we're at, I think, 25 or 30 subscribers. Hey man, YouTube is slow but steady work. You gotta keep putting content out there and uh, you know, you gotta stick with it. Uh, you can't give up. Um, I've seen some folks like uh, Sports Car Dad, um, Oh, what's his name? Yeah, Sports Card Dad, I think is his name. He changed his name recently. He said three years ago, four years ago, he had like 40 people. And his first year was his goal was like 40 or 50 people. And now he's got hundreds, if not thousands of subscribers. So you just got to start off small, little by little, chip away at it. And uh, not get discouraged if you don't just get tons of subscribers. But I'll tell you what, if you subscribe and you uh, click the like button, um, it'll definitely be worth your while because I plan to be in this for the long haul and uh, any knowledge or information that I pick up from the hobby uh, through trial and error or through research or watching other content creators on YouTube, I'm happy to share with other folks. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Let's see what's in here. The box is wet. I hope the card's not damaged. That would be quite bad um, yeah, it looks like it's got a bunch of bubble wrap on it so I think we're gonna be okay so we can toss this this is I like to save the cardboard because I use it to package cards um, yeah, and cardboard, I mean, cardboard can be car kind of hard to come by. And the last thing I want to do is spend money on cardboard. So anytime I can reuse stuff, I do. Whether it's this bubble wrap, I mean, I'll reuse this. Why not? Um, this is a nice sheet. Oh, I know what this is. So I'm, I'm stoked about this. You're not going to believe what this is. This is 7.556 second year Roberto Clemente in a BVG slab. All right, now this came from a card shop in Cincinnati. Um, I think the name of it was Cardboard something. And I communicated with these guys I found this slab. I'm not going to tell you where um, because I can't give away my secret, all my secrets. But um, holy smokes, this card's in nice shape. Yeah, so the sticker price on there says $2,500. I did not pay $2,500 for this. Um, I uh, They were willing to accept the best offer and I paid significantly under that amount. Um, 
So the plan with this is to uh, cross this over. Um, I, I don't know if I'm gonna cross it over to PSA right away or if I'll cross it over to CSG and then PSA. I haven't made up my mind on that yet. Um, but a seven and a half in a BVG, if this comes back potentially as an eight, either from a CSG slab or from a PSA slab, um, I will be <laughs> over the moon. So um, this is the second one of these that I have. Currently, the other one that I've got is in a old CSG slab. It's a six and a half. Um, I picked it up a while back. I think I did a video on it where I picked it up from a guy in Alabama off of Facebook. That was a six. Uh, had it crossed over uh, from the BVG slab into the um, old CSG slab, and it came back as a 6.5. 6 so actually, the grade improved. Um, I don't know if that'll be the case with this. It's a risk sometimes with BVG. Uh, they overgrade. Um, but sometimes they undergrade. I think I, what I found is that their grading tends to be inconsistent. And so um, I liked this one because it was centered. Uh, the corners seemed pr in pretty good shape. Uh, are they eight corners for a 56 tops? Uh, I'd, have to, I'd have to take it out of the plastic here and, and, and give it a closer look with the microscope, or not the microscope, but the jewel. Um, but overall, hey, this is the real deal. Um, even if it comes back as a seven, which I did the comps on the sevens, um, it would be about what I ended up paying for it. So, you know, if it comes back as a six and a half, then I've, then I've lost a little bit, but even, even a six and a half in this card is, uh, is selling for, um, a pretty good amount. Um, so I think it's relatively safe. Uh, vintage is a pretty safe risk, I think for the most part. You never can tell, but um, man, and they just recently got this card. I asked the guy where it came from and what the story was with it, and he said somebody brought it in on a trade. So there you go. All right, that's all I got for today. A quick video, only a few minutes. Hope you're staying blessed out there, and uh, peace out. One love.